Hey everybody. What's up? Back here Welcome with some back. back to the future. Welcome back to the future part two super. Um we're actually back to the past right now. Oh, I forgot which button to push. Do this at the start of every playthrough because it's a weird button. <laughs> it's B. It's not V. <laughs> it's a. B in every other game. But it's a. either A or Y. It's A and Y at the same time. Ooh, I knew that was really? going to happen. There that was... was a rough time to do that. Yep. Alright, so I think we're in 5-2 if I remember correctly, but I might not. But luckily for us, for some reason, we still oh, have oh. infinite... Ooh. Oh, what? Ooh. Infinite lives. <laughs> yeah. I really, I really have no idea how that happened. And I could probably try to look it up, but... I imagine it's pretty hard to find any info about this game since it wasn't released here. I got, I mean, I would assume there'd be some info. Yeah. I mean, mo most of it might be Japanese. Yeah, I would have never heard of this game if it wasn't for like the Angry Video Game Nerd videos on it. Because I've never seen any other mention of it besides those videos. I mean, yeah. Ooh. I'm not, I gotta wait for these guys to come to me. All you'd ever really have to do though is just like do a deep internet dive. In the Back to the Future games? Yeah. Yeah. And by deep internet, I mean just Google it. You know, this was like the golden era of great games that never made it over here. <laughs> Aw oh, man. Yeah. There was plenty. Like, there's even a lot of well-known ones now that have been released since, like, you know, Final Fantasy V and Final Fantasy II and III. A yeah, lot of the Dragon were, Quests. Were most of the Final Fantasies, like, didn't they not release, like, four or five of them over here? So they released one, uh, four, and six. Yeah, because isn't, like, our Final Fantasies just, like, not the correct numbers. Yeah. Um, Final Fantasy VI is called 3 here. I mean, like, since it's been re released, they changed it back to 6. Yeah. But 6 was originally released as 3, and 4 was originally released as 2. And then 1 was just 1. Um, Ridiculous. Yeah. But then after that, they just were like, eh, let's just. Let's just go back to seven. It's weird, but I feel like we're going backwards just because I remember the doors. Yeah, we but definitely. I don't, I don't remember the What's dude doing? drinking soda. I'm going like really slow because there's so many new things here, like that. <laughs> yeah. I thought I had the pattern, but I did not. Yeah, and you would think things would change from how Oops. we first did our videos but lo and behold i'm sitting here playing pokemon go while you're playing a game <laughs> i remember when we first did the videos you were playing pokemon go while you were playing a game <laughs> and you <laughs> no <laughs> and i was I, I remember like very vividly one time where like i was just looking at the screen and all of a sudden it just like stopped and nothing was happening and I then I look at you and you're just like catching a Pokemon and I was like what's going on don't worry about it it was like the first week of the Pokemon Go coming out true I think it was when we were playing Pokemon Yellow yeah I think that's very possible that's probably why we played Pokemon Yellow actually it probably is I mean besides the fact that we both enjoy Pokemon Yellow oh yeah I just mean like at that time but I think Pokemon Go made us be like, yo, we should pl we should play some Pokemon Yellow. Yeah. Well, even oh, though there's, come on. Even though there's much better games in the series. Yeah, I, I think Yellow holds up a lot, though. Like, no, no, it definitely I, holds up better than Red and Blue. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I like Yellow more than Red and Blue, specifically because... You can just get everything, and your Pikachu follows you. Yeah. 
and they updated all of the sprites and they don't look like garbage like they do in red and blue yeah like some of the sprites in red and blue just look ridiculous compared to how the pokemon look now but in yellow they look pretty modern yeah and i'll say for me because i never really like played like any of like the middle gens mm -hmm. gold and silver are the best I also I agree and I have played all of them. Um, I do have one question though. Have you ever played Heart Gold and Soul Silver? I played Soul Silver a little bit because my sister found a copy of it in the Lost and Found at her work and just brought it home and gave it to me. Wow. Yeah, so it wasn't something like I actually like bought. It was I just kind of got lucky. And Didn't got know it. I could do that. How do I do this? Oh, I think that's you. I think that's how you do it. Oh my god, that's brutal. Ooh, <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> I actually can't believe this. And you better believe I'm safe stating up here. <laughs> um, what is it? Yeah, Heart like Gold I never... and Soul Silver like got me back into the series after I got out of it. Yeah, like I never, like I didn't get a DS until the DS Lite, mm -hmm. and that was my mom bought that for herself. <laughs> I did have and... the original Fat DS, but it broke yeah. at some point. Yeah, and then like when I I got myself a DS, but it was it was when the 3DS came out. I mm -hmm. bought a 3DS like probably halfway through its cycle to when like the 3DS XL started coming out and stuff like that. What was that one? That was a hit, I think. Well, I got a oh, hit, there... but then I got another one, which I think might have been an extra life. So that's Maybe. cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I looked down right before you, right before you got to that second one, <laughs> because I was catching something. <laughs> oh man. Ooh, it's it's a lady combi. I never see these. Is the female one the one that evolves? Yep, to Vespa Queen. Yeah. Whoops, I didn't even mean to do that. It worked out though. But not they really. Are, oh, that disappeared. They are okay. rare finds in the Pokemon Go world. They're rare finds in the game what? Okay. What? I just ended the level. All right. <laughs> um, ooh la la, ooh la la. Oh, oh there's the controversy. <laughs> Talk we've Did been you hear that? Um, what? That uh, everyone got mad because I think it was Netflix put out a uh oh, a censored like, version. Was, yeah, the censored version, which I think was like yeah. for like Europe. I did hear about that. It, they took out the Ooh La La magazine. Mm -hmm. And everyone was like, what the hell's the matter with you? What is this guy? He's just eating. How is he a threat yeah. to me? Because <laughs> he's not paying attention where he's going. Why are there so many copies of him? Because no one pays attention to where they're going while they eat. I don't know what the hundred coin one is. A that's waste a of coins. <laughs> It's probably an extra life, and that's why it's not it, doing anything. It has to be. If you're just joining us, we somehow got ex oh, whoops, we somehow got infinite extra lives. Why did I just fall? Because there's a hole in the ground. Um. Yeah, back to Pokemon though. I kind of got out of it when Diamond and Pearl came out, yeah. and then Heart Gold and Soul Silver brought me back in, and then Platinum came out, and I did go back and play that one. Um, yeah, and then I was back in pretty much from then. Yeah, cause uh, what is it? Like I played gold Ooh. and silver. I had both of them, and I remember just hanging out with the neighborhood kids, bringing the uh, the link cable, and duping oh, yeah. all the Pokemon. Actually, I remember a story about that. Um, you were trading me. Uh, oh, it worked. That was lucky. 
Um, you were trading me your, like, Kingdra for me to, like, get it in my Pokedex or something, or for you to evolve it. Yeah. And the link cable came, like, unplugged, because, you know, I was a dumb kid. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> we, were, we were, like, freaking out, because we thought it was gone, and then there was two of them. Yeah, that's great, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, I did my spin. Wow. Oh, this yeah. is the enchantment yeah. under the sea dance, in case you didn't see that. Uh, if you're talking to me, I did see that. I have been paying some kind of attention while we've been playing. I'm not just sitting here looking at <laughs> Pokemon Go. Well, I, did, I just didn't notice until then. I'm gonna... Well, I was gonna not get that. I thought you had to hit it, but I guess you do not have to hit it. Woo! Because that's kind of just a waste of coins if it's an extra life. And it's yeah, a lot it of is. coins. Woo! I wanna see what's up here. Um, what was it? Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. just more coins. Uh, what was it? I know I played gold and silver. Then I remember you had crystal. Yeah, I did. Which, like, I never got. Mostly because I think it was a hard ask to get my parents to buy me another version of Pokemon of the same game, essentially. Yeah. I think my parents and, uh, only did it because it was like, like at the time, gold and silver were, were just gold. Was like literally the only game I played. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Like, I remember I got, I think I got gold with my Game Boy Color. Because I remember when I got my Game Boy Color. And I think I got it for my birthday. And my parents had gotten me Kobe Bryant three on three basketball and Pokemon gold. Mm -hmm. Oh man. And then I think for Christmas that year, they got me Pokemon silver. Mm -hmm. I remember gold was my first one and I got it for Christmas along with the teal game boy color. Yeah, no. My my first Game Boy Color was just the straight up like dandelion yellow or whatever they called it. Mm -hmm. And then I was super hyped for Ruby and Sapphire and I got them the day they came out. Um, I had a Game Boy Advance already. I got it with like Mario Kart or something for yeah. Christmas. And then I got Ruby the day it came out and like I played it probably just as much as I played Gold. And then Diamond and Pearl came out. Oh, I actually, well, then Emerald and Fire Red and Leaf Green, all those came out, and I got all those. But then by Diamond and Pearl, I was kind of like getting into the I'm too old for Pokemon stage. Yeah. And then I, after that, I got to the I'm old enough that I don't care stage. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of that's kind of how I've I kind of got back to it. Mm hmm. Was who gives a shit? I'm just gonna play some Pokemon. Yeah. I did then, get uh, Diamond and Pearl when they came out. I just didn't really play them. Yeah. I remember you got Diamond and Pearl. But I was like, I got, I, at that point, I was like already out of it. So I was like, that's neat, but I'm done. Ooh, what are, there's like a million of these guys. And then, uh, is this like a boss fight? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then, uh, oh, this must be Biff's crew. Oh man. Yeah. This guy's kind of hard to hit. But easy to oh, yeah. dodge, but hard to hit. Fun fun fact about uh Back to the Future series is that uh this I think it was part 2 created the uh the like law against using someone's likeness without their consent. Really? Yep. Who was used? Crispin Glover, who plays Marty McFly's dad. Um. They they put a mask because he didn't want to do the second movie. Mm hmm And so they created an almost lifelike mask of him and put it on another actor, and then he sued them for that. Mm -hmm. And that's what kind of created like the the claws for it and like the laws against it. 
I didn't know that. Yep. He is like barely in the second movie. Yeah, cause they, well, I know they used like old footage of him, and then they had someone yeah. with like a, a mask that looked just like his face, like in like the, mm -hmm. like the the scenes that they like reshot for the past. It's interesting because they, um, Jennifer was a different actress too, and they just recast her. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wonder why they didn't just do that with him. Dude, what are you doing? He's letting him off, bruh. He wasn't doing that before. How am I supposed to get down here now? <laughs> Alright, there we go. You just gotta go for it. This one, this guy's really hard to hit because when you jump, you land on these platforms. So you have to like... Hit him on your way up. Like, not like that. Or you just take the damage. <laughs> Which, I mean, you can only do so much. Yeah, especially because I gotta beat the other two guys. It's just so awkward as the positioning. I wonder if there's like a trick. I don't know. Like, most of the other bosses had like buttons or something you could push, but I don't see them. Yeah. Here, I think I'm gonna do this guy. Had, Whoops. Most of those bosses all had something, like in the environment that would damage them. Yeah. But these ones seem like you're just supposed to beat them up. Yep. Which could be a problem because <laughs> they seem ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, like on the surface, I thought it was gonna be super easy. Until they realized how awkward it was going to be to hit this guy. Yeah. And the other two guys to a lesser extent. But this guy seems to be the worst. I got yeah, him. Must have... Got some good ones right there. Yeah, it must just be like a... Dang. Patience is a virtue type deal with this guy. Like, just wait for it. Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, come on. I didn't expect him to start running. I feel like if it's four hits, come on. I feel like if there's no like environmental way to damage them, mm -hmm. then they should make it take less hits. Yeah, five supposedly especially, each is kind of a lot. Yeah, especially because there's three of them. Yeah. I mean, and granted, they each have like their own section. Oh. So it's like, it's impossible to have to fight all of them at the same time. Yeah, that's true. But... This looks annoying. Mm-hmm. This guy... Seems pretty easy in comparison. I just gotta watch out. Like, you just gotta jump, the, jump on you gotta the jump ball. away from him after you hit him. Yeah. Let me let me practice these top two guys, and then I'll come back to this guy. Because if I can get through the top two guys without taking damage, then I can try to power through the bottom guy. You gonna power bottom him? Ideally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy seems pretty easy. If I time it right. There we go. Wow. This guy I haven't even really tried. Yeah. He looks like you just gotta kind of maintain a little distance from him. Yeah. Whoops. Oh. But I guess. Got a couple. I guess you there. could say that for uh for all of them. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's a new. That's a new. Oh yeah, um, back to Pokemon. A lot of people yeah. right now want those Gen 4 remakes. Oh, I yeah. personally do not want Gen 4 remakes in Pokemon's current state. Because <laughs> I don't think they'll be good. Like, I don't think they'll be as good as Gen 4 was. With how Pokemon's going now. Man.
You don't even think it would be good with the Let's Go treatment? Maybe the Let's Go, it would be like different enough, but if they got, if Gen 4 got a remake, I don't think it would be Let's Go right now. Like not until they do Let's Go Johto and Hoenn. Yeah, I mean that's to be expected. But Gen 4 is like, like next up for the remakes like, in general. I don't know why anyone would think they just skip second gen. Yeah, I mean, I don't think most people think Gen 4 are going to get the Let's Go treatment. They'll just get, like, the standard remakes that we normally get. Because Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire were last. Is this guy going to move? Come on. True. And I don't think Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire were as good as the original Gen 3. And I think um, Gen 4 would probably have the same fate. Oh, you think they're just gonna add, like... Dang it. I just think that would be worse. Like, they just like, won't like... have, like, as much content. They won't look as good, because Gen 4, like, looks unbelievably good with the sprites. Um, it's probably... Like, I think Gen 4 is the best-looking generation. It's, like, when the sprites peaked before they switched think... to 3D models. You don't, you don't think they're gonna translate well to a 3D model? Well, I just, it'll just look how it looks now, which I don't think looks as good as Gen 4 does. Like, I think the graphics now are pretty ugly. Yeah? Oh, yeah. I think Sword and Shield were probably the ugliest games we've had. Like, for Pokemon? Yeah. Well, here's, I mean, besides, here's what like, I'll... red and blue. <laughs> yeah. Here's what I'll say. It is hard to make like a, a 3D game, especially in like the like that teenage years of gaming. We'll call it like PS2, GameCube, and Xbox. Yeah. That that like are gonna look good for a while. Dang it! I'm trying to run. Like there, there's there's there something go. about like. 2D graphics that just look good for a good a good long while. Yeah. But like I liked a lot of what Sword and Shield like looked like. Mm -hmm. But I definitely think that it was missing a lot. Mhm. Mm I mean, I think it looks comparable to, like, a PS2 game. Yeah, but I mean, you're not going to get a lot out of the Switch, depending on how you're trying to go with the game. No, but, I mean, you compare it to things like Breath of the Wild or Mario Odyssey. Those games but look those... fantastic. Well, Breath of the Wild is shaded. Yeah, so make Pokemon so, like... shaded. <laughs> I mean, they could have, but like I said, it all depends on how you're trying to do a game on the Switch. Yeah. So, like, and then Mario, like, obviously, Mario is going to get the best fucking treatment out of, like, any Nintendo game. But, like, why can't Pokemon get that treatment? It is their most pro profitable franchise. But it's not, like, Nintendo making it. Right. But it should be. <laughs> or it should at least not be Game Freak if they, man, if they don't have any interest in making it good. I mean, I, I don't think it's Game Freak's fault necessarily. I think it's more like the fact that they're being forced to get one out every single year no matter what. Oh, are they coming out yearly? Oh, yeah, they've been yearly for literally the entire franchise. Oh, I got him. Wait, Wait so Game Freak, do they do like all the, they don't do all the Pokemon games, do they? Yeah. Like, even like the Mystery Dungeons? Oh no, like all the mainline ones. Including Let's Go. Man. Because if they've come out every single year. With maybe like one or two years since they've come out where there wasn't one. 
Because, like, yeah, I mean, no game's going to be good if it's coming out yearly. Yeah, and before, you know, they had the, when they were on the 2D graphics, it wasn't as hard, you know? Yeah. And when I'm talking, like, yearly, it's not a new gen that comes out yearly. Like, sometimes it would be, like, the third version or something. Yeah. True. Um, like, they just add, like, a Pokemon or two. Yeah. But all this to say, I think that Platinum and, by extension, Heart Gold and Soul Silver are the best-looking Pokemon games. Um, Black and White still had the sprites, but they started animating them. And that made them look like really pixelated, especially the back sprites. Yeah. So I didn't like that as much. And then Gen 6 is when they started going full 3D model. And they actually haven't updated the model since. <laughs> They've been using those same ones. Hey, you can't, can't mess with a good thing. <laughs> but <laughs> they're not that good. <laughs> that's what you... That's Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, okay? <laughs> Man. Because you know that's going to be like a ton of people's favorite game. And you're going to be like, well, not according to the people online. But guess what? I guarantee you there's people. I guarantee it. Um, Which one? Sword Any and Shield? Them. Any of them. Gen 5 is a lot of people's favorite game. But I don't know about Sword and Shield. No. I mean, I don't, like, I'll I'll be straight up, I don't really have, like, favorites besides, like, Gold and Silver, because those were, like, the first ones I played. Man. Yeah, Gold and Silver are my favorites. But, uh, like, other than that, I'm very indifferent on, like, any other games. Mm -hmm. Like, mo like, most of it, I just kind of base on, uh, like, after Gen 2 and, like, Gen 1. I just kind of base it on the uh, the designs. Mm -hmm. Like if I like a generation or not. Yeah. I actually was like a pretty big Gen 4 hater before. Yeah. <laughs> like even in probably some of our earlier videos I talked about how I didn't like Gen 4. But I played That's Platinum. Very, very I played Platinum last year for the first time since it came out. And I was like mm -hmm. completely blown away by how good it was. <laughs> I think it was part of it just like being used to modern Pokemon and then going to that. Yeah. It was like, it was so refreshing. Platinum's the one with uh, like Giratina and yeah, Crestlia, right? Yep. And there's Gen Four has like, um, probably like the biggest gap in quality between like the original versions and the third version. Because, yeah. like, Diamond and Pearl are kind of awful, but then Platinum came out and, like, fixed all of its problems, mm. and it was really good, to the point where I don't think Diamond and Pearl are worth playing, like, at all. Whereas, yeah. like, Gold and Silver isn't that much different from Crystal. Yeah. Like, there's some improvements, for sure, but they're pretty much the same game. What was, like, the purpose of Crystal? Um, it just updated some things like it was the first time that the sprites ever moved So like when you first send uh, out a Pokemon, they do like a little animation Gotcha, um, only when you first send them out though and it added a female playable character and uh, it, it added like a whole subplot with Suicune um, uh, Okay, and it added yeah, I kind of figured that one just because that was the the cover boy yeah. Or lady. It added it had a lot of quality of life changes, like when you go on to a route or a city it displays the name. Gotcha. Um I didn't do that? No, not in gold and silver. Man, I don't remember that. Um Makes you makes you wonder how you, you got around so much in that <laughs> game. Yeah. And, I know for a, I know for a fact I played through gold and silver at least like three or four times yeah and it also um added the battle tower which was gotcha. basically like competitive for single player like actually challenging yeah. trainers who would like 
have EV trained Pokemon with like perfect IVs and like actual move sets and stuff. Which I never really played with because I was never really interested in competitive Pokemon, but a lot of people like that yeah. part of it. Yeah, like my experience with like Gen 1 Pokemon Ooh. came from the anime mm -hmm. and like the trading cards. Mm -hmm. That was like my main experience with them. Yeah, mine was basically the same thing. And I did eventually, like I remember I got red after I already had gold for a while. Yeah, that's um, that's how it was for me too. Like yeah. I got, like the third game I got was yellow. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that, but it worked out. Ooh. Ooh. No! All right, Don't here we Don't go. You. Oh, you fucked this up. Alright, I'm gonna come back from this side. Try to... It seems safest to hit him from here. From from below him? Like, go like that. Oh, uh, gotcha. Maybe not optimal, but safest. Which is what I'm concerned about. There we go. hey oh Alright. Well... We got 6-1 and 6-2 now, I think. So, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> no wonder this game didn't come to America. Yeah. If, if this goes shorter than 20 minutes, you're going to see it on here still. Yeah, if not, you'll see it in the next episode. We're not even going to say bye, though, because... Who no, knows? we're gonna keep playing. Oh, we got one, another one of these things. Are there you hear that music? Balls? No. It's awesome. Hang on, let me see if I can turn it up. Yeah, I don't know what these are. I don't remember this from the movie. <laughs> Alright, I can hear it. It sounds pretty good. Jeez, those cannonballs though. Those don't sound very good. Nope, sounds like my dad when he goes to the bathroom. <laughs> Come on. This is really awkward. You've done this before. There we go. Alright. Only got one hit. But yeah, Crystal, yeah. Crystal is definitely like the definitive version, but I don't think it's like that different. Yeah. Whereas like Platinum is like very different. Like it's a completely different experience from playing Diamond and Pearl. Let's uh, pour one out for X and Y that never got its third version. Yeah. Rest in peace, Pokemon Z. I think, I remember I, I did play through X and Y. Yeah, I remember I you playing that one a lot, because we used to do Wonder Trade and stuff. Yeah. I oh, don't... Oh, what? Well, that was a bad way to go. <laughs> uh, I don't remember very much about it, but I remember liking it. Yeah. That was the one where you got two starters, because you get the Kanto yeah. starter. Yeah. And... I just remember, I remember liking it, that's pretty much it. It, um, I think it was pretty well liked at the time, but it's kind of soured in the community's opinions now as, like, the beginning of the downfall. <laughs> yeah. Which it kind of was. Yeah, I mean, it, like, I remember it didn't have, like, a lot of cutscenes or anything. Yeah. Fucking sun and moon, man. Sun and moon. Yeah. The the thing was like black and white were really good, and there was a lot of content. And then they sold terribly. Like they're the worst selling Pokemon games by far. So they completely shifted direction with X and Y. Yeah. Which 
wasn't very popular with like the core fan base. I like X and Y though. Like I played it a lot. Yeah. I like, I th like I think I think what I liked most about X and Y was like your ability to like haggle with people to get like better trades. Like with the wonder trade and stuff. Oh yeah. Cuz you can just like put up like hey, I got I got this Pokemon. Give me a <laughs> fucking legendary. Yeah, the GTS. Yeah. And that's, they're like, oh, all right. That's um in Pokemon Home now. Oh, what is it? Isn't there supposed to be like a shiny Pokemon Pokemon Home right now? Whoops. Like, like what's it called? Like Zao Zora. Oh, Zorora. Yeah. Um, th he's like in raid battles or something. I haven't really been looking at it because I already have one from last gen. I'm not a shiny well, one, but because I know they like there was like a challenge thing in a. Uh... The new Sword and Shield, yeah, and they said people did it, so they were releasing a shiny one for like Pokemon Home. Yeah, which I think they said all you had to do is like log into Pokemon Home at like a certain time, hmm. or like from a certain time. Hmm. Should probably do that. Yeah. Pokemon Home is pretty cool. Like I have Pokemon from my original playthrough of Sapphire in there. Yeah. See, I never used it because, like, when that got introduced, I wasn't really playing any Pokemon games. Yeah. I had all my Pokemon from Pokemon Bank that I needed to bring over. Well, that's what I meant, like, Pokemon Bank, but, yeah, like, I started using Home, but I haven't really put much like effort into it and like actually putting stuff in there mm -hmm. I have um like all of my Pokemon in there <laughs> Woo. I have a lot of guys from my original Sapphire you playthrough it. you goofed it come on Woo. it's really hard Woo. to like move left Woo. and right here Ooh. Oh, get up there. Get up there. I have, yeah. like, a uh, Jirachi that I originally had from pre-ordering Pokemon Coliseum. <laughs> yeah. Still with me. That's pretty cool. I got one I got one of them in the, in the Pokemon Go's. Yeah, I hate that you can't switch the mythicals back and forth. What do you mean? Like, you can't, if you have mythicals in Pokemon Go, you can't bring them to oh, home. Oh, you can't, yeah. Because you can't even trade them. Um, yeah. Well, you couldn't bring them to, like, Let's Go either. Yeah. Oh, what? Wowzer. The heck is that guy doing? That, that was a thing that happened. <laughs> Ooh. Come on. They're too far apart. Maybe I have to go this way. Come on, come on, come uh, on. Oh, they're, they're too far. You're supposed to start from the middle, dude. Uh, I can't get high enough. Can... <laughs> Isn't that the problem? <laughs> It'd be nice to start from up, up here. I think you gotta get up to that, uh... That ledge there. Yeah. And then things will get a lot easier for you. I was pressing it, but do, there's like a little cooldown once like you... That. There was like a cooldown when I landed, so I couldn't jump right away again. Bam. Should've, should've got saved scummy after you did this part. <laughs> yeah, probably. But I think I was down to one hit, so I didn't want to risk it. Because I don't know what's coming. Oh, whoops. Gotta load that. You were at two hits. When I went past it? I don't know. Oh. I don't, I don't remember. Oh, come on. Uh... 
Oh man. Well, who would have thought? <laughs> Just getting donked on the head by fucking dung balls. Well, I forgot to load my I, save state anyway, so. I'll say, I don't remember uh, balls of shit flying out of the air. Maybe it's the ones that um, Biff crashes into. Oh yeah. That was way easier when you go on the platform. Should I <laughs> should I save state? I mean, I got one hit. What do you? Do? Maybe. It depends on if you uh, you want to do that. Okay. <laughs> well, I was thinking about it. I was like, I don't think I can get past it without getting hit. So I'm always gonna have one hit probably. Hi. Whoops. High chance. Wow, there's some loud sirens out there. Oh yeah. What's this? I don't know. There's a little platform. Oh, I what? didn't see that. Aw oh, man. <laughs> Whatever. We'll never find out. Wow. Um. Alright, oh, well, come on, that was too fast. They were too close together. Too fast, too fierce. Yeah, apparently there's now like a rip-off Fast and Furious title. I saw it when I was... I don't know where I saw it, but I saw it. It has DMX in it. And it's called Fast and Fierce. Are you sure it's not just the new Fast and Furious movie? Because they always have fast. different names. It, they always have something to do with Furious and being fast. Yeah. Well, some of them, like one was just called like Fast 7 well, or something. Like well, they don't always five. have both. It's Fast 5, uh, whatever the, number, the sixth one was. And then I think Man. Furious 7. And there was the fate of the furious. Mm -hmm. So it always has something to do with being fast or being furious or both. So this, I mean, it could be that. It's definitely not. It's, it's straight to video. Oh, oh man. And it had DMX in it. <laughs> I've and never seen one of those movies, so. And he's top build. Hmm. And I don't even know if it was like a Fast and the Furious ripoff. It was just called Fast and Fierce. And I was like, that's not good. There we go. Oh, that's what I get. <laughs> well, <laughs> look at that. Does that disappear? Sure I gotta imagine so. so. It's just evil Apparently. though. I mean, there's, there's, there's no point for this path if it doesn't. Yep. You need to calm down. It went it went really fast. Yeah. It's too fast. Too furious. Did it Tokyo drift? Yeah. Oh what? I thought I thought I was gonna run into that one. Alright. That All wasn't right, really but... a better path. I mean if anything it was a worse path. Yeah. So let's uh not take it again. Sure, I'm pretty sure if you you take the bottom path, you just go right less. there. Yeah, there's there's less. Nope. Come on. Nope. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, nope. Mm -mm. Come on. Woo. Come on. Come on. Woo. Keep keep me up. Let's go. That's what he said. Man, it's not working. I wonder, I wonder if you're supposed to do it from like the middle area. Maybe, but there's that yeah, seems, spike seems, thing in the middle. Well, it looks like they disappear. Yeah, they do. But that's going to be like Im literally impossible to time. <laughs> because you don't have maybe, any control over it when you're in the air. Well, maybe you should uh, 
Maybe you should not get hit so much. Ideally. You ever, you ever think about that? Um, it was the last resort. It seemed like over here I was like almost there. If I could just get the ones on the side here, but I can't quite reach. Put in no clip. <laughs> Come on. Alright, let me regroup here. Nope. All right, Yo, they're, cool. they're literally just throwing testicles at you. <laughs> it's two ball, two wrinkly balls right next to each other. Man. That one was singular. That one, that one, the guy had a problem. Oh, I, I just can't get high enough. That was like a you problem. Ooh. Like I said, it looks like you might have to go through the middle. Yeah. So that's where it's like more densely populated with these things. But also way more dangerous. Well, I mean, you probably gotta start from the oh, left oh. and then like... Oh. Like I said, you probably gotta start <laughs> from the left and just like go diagonally up. Yeah. It's gonna be like basically pure luck to time it though. Like the time around those spiky things that is. Pro game, pro game, pro gamer, pro gamer stats, st stats, stress, bro. Man, I can't talk right now. <laughs> I'm not even. I even closed Pokemon Go and I can't even talk. Oh man, I can't wait to be past this part. This might be two full episodes after all. I just go right from here. Ooh, come Ooh. on. If there was one right there, that would have been it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, huh? Ooh. Uh, 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 if I can just I get these like ones on the any... side. Well, maybe, uh... There we go. Yeah. Come on, Let's come on. Right there. That guy needs to go away. Come on. That's it. Come That's on. It. Go, go. Yes. That's it. That's it never doing that again you're like never doing that again I'm gonna say never doing that again and then the next area is gonna have more <laughs> all right final boss I feel it like we're here so I feel like we have a lot more of the movie Fifth. to do like wow. what about like going back where we're going we don't need to go back ah uh, so it is a uh, Thing he runs into okay. <laughs> we literally could have whoops just guessed the password for this boss battle yeah <laughs> all right i died but wait what i didn't i won what? i must have killed him and then died is that it for oh 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 wait no i don't have control Oh, okay. No wonder this game didn't come out. <laughs> Look at that. Is this it? Yeah. How how truly climactic of an ending. <laughs> I thought we would like at least see a cutscene of the end of the movie. How but... truly climactic <laughs> of an end for the end of this oh, game that was super back to the future to there was there was no anti-climactic end for this game <laughs> this was very that was a very satisfying ending let's uh speed these guys up <laughs> oh wow there were like five people who made that game <laughs> and then you got a fin don't duplicate it uh <laughs> oh, what oh is this it i'm waiting to see if like it goes no post credit scene no back to the start menu nothing huh all right well that was back to the future part two it was a pretty good back to the future game
Yeah. Maybe we'll check besides the other ones the, uh, out someday. Besides the anticlimactic ending. Yeah, that was kind of weird. And, I mean, it happened in that one level, too, where there was no goal and you just finished. Yeah, that's true. It's just so weird how easy that final boss was compared to uh, chapter Every single five. other boss. Like the chapter five boss we spent almost like 20 minutes on. <laughs> yeah. And then we like beat him while dying. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> all right. See you guys for the next whatever episode. <laughs> Bye. I don't know what. See you then. Uh...